Hey guys, I'm Art Mills and welcome to Real Deal DIY. Today we're going to show you how to disable the button on a button saw. That's this button right here. As for all my videos, don't take nothing I say here seriously. This is just a skit for entertainment value. Now, as I've said in other videos, this button is highly dangerous. The only really good place you have to push the button is when you're just holding the saw like this. Now, when you have to get in here and, you know, kind of move the saw around and you put it on a bevel, you, you really can't keep your hand on the saw nice and perfectly like you're supposed to. Then it, it makes it really hard to push that button and then keep your hand on the saw in a safe way. Uh, there was a time when one of my saws went up and I started using a customer saw that was a button saw. And I almost cut myself a couple times with that thing. That's an event I would classify as bad. Or I was like, I'm not using that no more. It's just too dangerous. And they wouldn't let me modify the button, so it didn't have to be pushed. Well, today I'm going to show you this is Lowe's, the cheapest saw in Lowe's, a skill saw. And I'll show you how to disable the button, and then I'll tell you what I think of this saw. All right, I've never done this before on this version of a circular saw. Looks like it's got some Star Church keys in there. Which of these? Allen wrenches, uh, X wrench, whatever you want to call it. Just gonna unscrew these things on the handle here. Took all the screws out of the handle part here. I didn't take it out here or whatever that's holding. Now I'm just gonna slide this on off. <coughs> See this uh, trigger mechanism right here, and here's the button part. Let's see if that'll come off. Looks like these two, if I pull, it'll fold on out of there. I have to roll this out as I'm pulling this off. Driver won't help. Yeah, this popped off. Looks like what it was doing is that little extra tab right there it was hitting that trigger, so it looks like it's going to work. Let's just plug it in one time and see. <coughs> yeah, so that's how you disable that evil button. that's back on there now so I'm just gonna slide that button so it goes right back out the window there <laughs> put these wires back like they were make sure I hook this rubber thing back in this little seat here for it if you can't see what I'm talking about on screen you'll be able to see what's happening a lot easier with this in front of you This thing back on. You hear that? That's my egg timer. Means it's time to lift weights. I'm not going to screw these all the way home until I get basically all of them in there. I want to make sure this thing is seated properly before I go putting any tension on any one part of it. You heard enough dinging yet? I have. I 
she's back together now and that concludes how to disable the button now I'm gonna tell you what I think about this saw this saw most certainly will work to cut things all right and I suspect it'll cut them straight it's a lot faster than a handsaw that's for sure but this part right here is plastic this little lever here that that's not good you can probably see how much flex it has right there when I push on it now I'm pretty strong but still that's just, that's not good now this here that's plastic you hear that ain't no magnet sticking to it this is a very thin metal shoe or table whatever you want to call it right here it's uh it's not going to withstand not one good drop and then it'll be bent up this right here where the bevel adjusts really thin metal i mean with one good drop or bump even this this is going to get crooked and off this thing right here is of the cheapest construction uh, this little head right here is plastic I think the bolt that goes in there and through is metal Let's see this thing here that adjusts the depth it's metal but it is extremely thin now I could very easily with my thumb press too hard and ruin this thing if you're gonna buy this thing you're gonna have to baby it it can't be exposed to cold temperatures like out in your tool shed you can't keep it out there because if you do and when you bring it out if you bump something th this is gonna shatter or that will shatter this is plastic too it's a little bit harder up here but uh, this would definitely shatter that would shatter um, if you're outside working in the cold in the 20s and teens I mean after a few hours it's gonna be cold and if you bump the sawhorse or something like that it's probably gonna shatter something so it can be done yeah but you're gonna have to be really careful with it I mean set it down on the ground every time after you cut but it's it's 30 bucks and it will cut it will cut straight you're just gonna have to be careful with it all the time as a beginning homeowner uh, as a beginning do-it-yourselfer yeah yeah you could buy this thing if you disable the button now with that button on there this thing is dangerous alright you will cut yourself don't leave that button on there working you can also take a drill bit and take a drill bit like this and then just take your drill and screw out you basically just turn this black button into Swiss cheese right there drill it out a bunch of times all the way through and that'll take it out too you might have to pry a little something out of there uh, I've done that before with some uh, cordless sawzalls or whatever and it works fine I just didn't want to mangle this one because I'm taking it back to the store uh, when I put it back together it doesn't seem like the the button is stopping me anymore so I must have not put something together right but I'm not going to take it apart and fix it. I mean, I'm going to take it apart and make sure it's in proper working order before I take it back to the store. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. 30 bucks. You can have this thing. And, uh, or you can get a handsaw for $5 and spend 80 seconds sawing each one and save time at the gym, too. Okay, folks, hope this helps y'all out. Goodbye. Now, I know there's some of y'all out there that say, Hey, Art, that's the safety mechanism. It's meant to keep you safe and you're disabling it. That's dangerous. Telling me that is like 
reading a book about how to fix your car and then writing the man who wrote that book and telling him how to fix your car when you don't know the first thing about fixing cars. All right. Now, I'm not trying to crack on nobody out there. I'm just trying to say it's wise to listen to people who know. Because that's how you learn new things without spending years trying to learn it yourself. You read a book on something, you watch a video on something, you skip all those hard knocks. You skip ahead months, years with your knowledge. You learn without paying the price that whoever is teaching you paid. All you got to do is pay attention to what they told you. Now that's all still has a safety mechanism. It's called a trigger. You don't pull that trigger, that blade don't go around. All right, you need to get accustomed to picking that saw up without touching the trigger anyway, because that's just dangerous. You know, there's plenty of other tools out there, drills, sawzalls, jigsaws, whatever, that you can pull the trigger without a safety button and it will cut on. And if it's, you know, near some loose clothing or near your skin or wherever, your child, it doesn't care. It will cut on when you hit that trigger. It's just like a gun. You don't, you don't touch that trigger until you're ready to fire. When you pick that saw up, your finger is away from the trigger. When you're setting up your cut and lining up your cut to the blade, you don't touch that trigger. When you pull back and you're about to put your safety glasses down, if you wear them, you don't touch that trigger. When everything is set and you take your breath and get ready to run that cut, then you pull the trigger, let that blade get up to speed, and you go on ahead. You don't pull the trigger at any other time. That is your safety mechanism. Now this isn't a video about safety, so I'm not going to go all off on a safety trip. But let me tell you, if you're one of those kind of people that doesn't put sharp knives facing up in your straining uh, basket or whatever after you wash dishes, then maybe construction is not for you. If you do it because of your children, then that's one thing. Kids are kids. You know, they don't watch what they're doing. But you as an adult, you need to watch what you're doing. There are being razor sharp knives underneath all that soapy water when you can't see them. That shouldn't be a problem for you. Because you're not just going to go stuffing your hands in it. You're not just going to go ramming your hands in there like a psychopath. And the same thing with the knives sticking up in the strainer and that little cup that holds your silverware. You don't go just ramming your hands in there. And when you're walking through the kitchen, you don't go waving your hands around like Mary Poppins singing a song, okay? You're an adult. You watch what you're doing. Because on a construction site, you can die at any time. Any time. You can get squished like a bug. You can get one of your major arteries busted open and bleed to death in seconds. You can get shot in the head with a nail gun from somebody shooting across the hall right there. And be a vegetable for the rest of your life or be blind in one eye. You can die at any time due to a mistake on your part, your buddy's part, you know, just the luck of the draw, whatever. I've almost died a lot of times on a construction site. Seen other people almost died. I've saved other people's lives and somebody even saved mine once. You know, it's a dangerous place. You had better watch what you are doing. Don't depend on those safety mechanisms. Just like when you're at a stoplight, just because that light turns green, don't go pulling out there. You best look first. Because that light don't care about you. You'd be lying under that light, breathing your last breaths, and it'll turn green, yellow, red while you're doing that. Because that light don't care about you. Watch what you're doing. Alright? You're in charge of your safety. Don't let some stupid accident knock 50 years off your life. Okay? You be safe. Y'all be careful out there. It's not just something I say. You can die doing this. It's not a joke. Y'all be careful out there.